All right, thank you, Jennifer. We continue to get updates every few minutes on this breaking high rise fire in London. The devastation continues to worsen as firefighters continue to spray water on the building. This started more than 12 hours ago, and we're just now getting a sense of the deadly impact. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon joining us now with the very latest. Roseanne, you've learned some new information in just the past few minutes. That's right, Andy. Within the last few minutes, we learned that at least 64 patients have been treated and 20 are in critical condition right now. We know six people are dead, but police believe that number is going to rise. The recovery operation is expected to take a number of days. The flames from this inferno lit up the night, devouring more than 100 homes here at Grenfell Tower, a residential complex in West London. You also see people kind of dangling children out of the windows to, to try and get them to safety, just get them out of the way in some, in some way. I mean, it was horrendous. I mean, it was just like an inferno, just completely engulfed. I smelled a plastic burning. Many residents say they were caught by surprise. Some residents are saying their fire alarms did not go off. And I heard shouting, it's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. I thought, what's going on here? And I can smell the smell even stronger. Officials say the building is not in danger of collapse. The fire commissioner calling it unprecedented. But perhaps the worst is the thought, could this have been prevented? I mean, I've heard it started around 1 o'clock. By the time I saw it, it's probably about 45 minutes in. But then for the time I saw it, about two hours later, the whole building was, was almost pretty much engulfed in flame. And, yeah, just charred, broken, horrible. High Rise had a state put policy in the event of a fire with residents urged to shut their windows and doors and await rescue. Some residents are telling local reporters that they ignored that policy. Now new smoke detectors were installed as a part of a $12 million refurbishment project last year. It's worth noting, however, some residents said they didn't hear any alarms overnight. Andy, Rachel. All right, thank you so much. And 